some years ago, I did a wedding on the old side, and she played the piano for the couple. Amen. And, and it got down here and stuff. She remembered some things, and she came and started coming to the mission. Now they both went to heaven, but this time I'm going to ask her sister to come forward, Annabelle Helmick, and uh, I want her to come forward this time. And come up here with me. I'm going to help you out. And Mary's niece, Michelle. Amen. Mary and Larry have been gone. Mary's been gone about 15, 16 months, something in that area. And I want to go right ahead. Some of you may know me and some of you may not, but my name is Annabelle Moses, and some of you know me as Belle, and some of you guys know me as Ann. But my sister Mary passed away March the 3rd, March the 9th, uh, 2022, and my brother-in-law Larry passed away February 3rd of 2022. This is a picture that was in my dad's church. I told myself I was going to cry doing all this, but this was in my dad's church. This picture's probably about 60 years old. It's got a picture of Mary and Mary on the side of it, and we're going to donate it to the church. Because that's where Mary would want it to be, but it always sit in the middle when you walk into our church, and it's always on the wall, but it's really old, and that is for the church. And the other reason why I'm here is because Mary and Mary love the church so much. They want the church to grow. They want the church to have everything that its heart desired. I've already given Pastor Donnie the check that Mary and Mary left in the church. They actually left $138,000.68 for Eastside Mission Church.
strain at work and at home. You have given so many blessings. I'm so thankful for them all. Lord, hold my crown securely. Please don't let me fall. Hold my crown securely. While I tarry to labor for you. You're the fine to which I am clinging. The good shepherd who carry me through. Lord, please don't think me foolish, but that crown means so much to me. Why tarry to do your work, dear Lord, for the crown of life for me? Yeah. 
right pocket. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, they took God out of our schools and out of our homes. Yeah. And just uh, think about that, pray about that as you go through your week. Amen. Church has got to stand up for what we believe, right? Yeah. I want every one of you to understand something. I started preaching here 47 years ago. Sometimes it was so hard. I said 
sing all the time as a pastor and you never hear anybody say it. But man, you've got to be on your knees all the time. Amen. Yeah. But what I want you to know today, for all the family, Belle and Bob and Michelle and Austin and Autumn and all of the family of Mary and Larry Elsa, it's this. And I want everyone of you to know that I don't forget those offerings that you have given to get that building fund where it is today. So now we can start soon and start thinking about what the next phase is going to be for the Eastside Mission Church. And we've got to keep growing and we've got to keep winning souls and we've got to get our young people saved. Amen. Amen. We're going to go to the first scriptures. We're going to baptize them today. Boy, what a day to have a baptism. Yeah. What a day, my, my God brought the sunshine and men, Mary and Larry, maybe God never know. God might say, look down there. Look at that crazy preacher. He's excited because of you all. I'll be 65 next month. Started at 18. Walk with his class to grab. 
and now his face, he has a mustache. They said, well, a man can get pregnant. Hogwash. Amen. 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 We have some, you got plumbers, male, female ends, you got to have both. They won't type if you got male, male, female, female, they won't type, folks. They won't get together. Amen. Oh, my. I, I tell you, I know, I know what they, Larry and Mary also expect me to stand up for the Word of God. And I'm going to do that till the day that God takes me home. And whenever that time comes, I'm telling you, we're going to have a shout time. Oh, my, oh, my. I can just see us. I can see Mary and Larry. Man, they worked hard. Amen. Larry with high range of state, all the things that Mary did in her life. And they, they, they kept their money, they saved. And the main thing, she called me. Valiant, you know this. Michelle, you know this. She called me the day. She was passing to her house. Amen. And I'm not going to tell you all. I'm going to tell you all that I'm going to say is money changed a lot of people. Amen. But I listened to what Mary said. And Bill, and if I'm ever in a foxhole, I want you covering my back. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> Mary said, Pastor, you know, she, she wanted it spit wisely. Amen. She wanted it done for God. She was going to, she said, you got to make, I said, I'll make sure that if, as long as I'm living, I'll make sure that it's going to be spit for God's work and God's work only. Amen. 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 And then they went out on the all the land of Judea and, and they baptized him in the river Jordan confessing and John was clothed with camel's hair. And someone asked him, why did he he was in a he didn't want to be like the so-called religious with the long robes? He wanted to be different. He didn't want to make a show on the outside. He didn't need to he wanted to tell people about what you need on the inside. Amen. Amen. And with a girdle of his skin about his loins, and he did an opus and wild up. And priests say, There cometh one mightier than I am. And I tell you what, he said, I ain't nothing in God's. I'm about like this, a little hand. He can do it all. We're instruments that God uses every one of us. Amen. And I'm going to tell you now, we, every one of you go through things in life, but there are reasons that you go through things. Because God is watching every one of your lives and say, are you going to be faithful for what God's called you to do? Amen. He says, I'm not even a worthy to stoop down and untie and unloose Jesus' feet. Amen. His shoes off of his feet. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. How many of you got the Holy Ghost today inside of you? How many of you love Jesus with all your heart, mind, and soul? Amen. My, oh my, my. This tells me something today, what just happened here today. We serve a powerful God. We serve a God that can do all things, but nothing's impossible with our God. And I'm going to tell you, all them people that said you won't have groundbreaking at the Eastside Mission, I wish they would see it now. What God has done. Did you hit your head? Lord, you know how hard it was. I was hitting my head against the wall. Amen. Many, many a time. And I pray for souls and people that have a desire. Brother Daryl and others, the trustees, Jeff, Sid, all, all of you that worked hard. My dad, back years ago, Brother Leon, I, I, I mean, I can go on. Eric, Ben uh, Ross, I can just keep going through the trustee that, that kept this church off because this is God's house. Amen. And I want everyone to 
been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Death, psst, resurrection. We're alive. We've been saved. Amen. We're going home. You know what you should, you know, should have the biggest smile and let the pearly white show how good and God has been to you. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. Don't you just get tired of Christians that never have a smile? <laughs> Don't you just shake your head? Lord, I, you're saved. Lord, you're going to heaven one day. Lord, it's coming soon. And you know what? I, I just can't wait until we get home. Yeah. Me and Mom was talking the other day about how everybody you talk to is going through problems of life. Everywhere you look. Now, I want you all to know that we've got something to be praising God for, thanking Him for, loving Him for, living for Him for, and letting our family know that we are a child of God because we want them to go to heaven. Amen? Amen. I want my family with me. How about you all? Amen. The like figure, wherein two even baptism doth also not say. Now, now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God. By the resurrection of Jesus Christ. The reason. He was much like Elijah. John the Baptist. 2 Kings 1.8. Elijah was dressed. And they answered him. He was a hairy man. And girded with a girdle of leather. Around his loins. And he said. It is Elijah the Tishbite. I don't have time to go through this next. But here's what this next part was. Let's skip on down to about 35, Wayne. <coughs> Philip was called by an angel to come and talk to a man that was the treasure of Egypt, the eunuch. And Philip was to tell him how to be saved. Then Philip, he asked him, do you know how to be saved? you got to be saved before you're baptized. You get saved, you get baptized, you become a member. Those three things. Then Philip opened his mouth, talking to the eunuch, the Ethiopian, and began at the same scripture and preached unto him, Jesus. And as they went on their way, they came unto a certain water, and the eunuch said, See, here is water. What doeth hinder me to be baptized? Philip said, if thou believest, now this is what everybody today, if thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest be baptized. If you believe in Jesus, Jesus, my, my Philip was saying, eunuch, you must believe in Jesus to be baptized. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Right then, stop the chariot. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? <coughs> Philip, so excited. Here he is saved. He believes. Yes. Let's get in the water. Let's get in the water. Yes. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch, and he baptized him. He was saved. He was born again. He loved God. And when they had come up out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip and his way. That the eunuch saw him no more, but he went on his way rejoicing. Amen. Amen. But Philip was found at Ossetus, and passing through, he preached in all the cities till he came to Caesarea. <coughs> okay. Amen. If, you, if you want to be baptized, we're going to the river. <clears throat> but you got to know Jesus first. Amen. If you don't know him, I want you to come forward today when we have this altar call right now. As we stand forward right now, stand up. I want you to be praising Jesus. I want you to hold on to Jesus. I want you to be strong for Jesus. 
I want us to be happy with Jesus. I want us to love each other like we've never loved before. There's time and a time. And Brother Tom, this, all these problems on this earth is going to be gone. All of us are going to be walking without any kind of walkers, electric wheelchairs, canes. Those are going to be gone. Everybody's going to see again. No more cancer. No more heart problems. No more, won't you be glad... No more diabetes. You can probably eat chocolate up there. I don't know. You might be able to be a big old chocolate candy ball. And your sugar will stay the same. Amen? If you don't know Jesus, I want you to come. I love you. I care about you. I stand with our young people. I stand with our elders. I'm with you when you come today. If you've got a need in your life, will you come forward right now? Will you come forward right now?